In the last explainer video, we looked at migrant stocks and flows. Now we need to know who is counted in these statistics. Essentially, how are migrants classified? In this video, we look at how migrants are classified or defined. Here we're going to look at four classifications or definition options used for statistical purposes, including place of birth, citizenship, previous residence, and migrant background. The final numbers in migrant stocks or flows will depend on which option is used. Let's first look at birthplace and citizenship. Your country of birth obviously cannot be changed. It's a characteristic that follows you around. This means countries using this criteria to define migrants will count anyone who is not born within their borders. Now compare this to citizenship, a more flexible characteristic. Immigrants with citizenship somewhere other than their current country of residence would count as a migrant, but in many cases they will stop being counted as a migrant if they naturalize and therefore gain citizenship. In addition to disaggregation based on citizenship or country of birth, it's often useful to use country of previous residence. This is useful when migrants are traveling from neither their country of birth nor residence, as we see here. This migrant still gets counted as immigrant flows despite being born in China and having Chinese citizenship. Let's pause here and look at how these three different disaggregation options can tell wildly different stories. What we're looking at here are immigrant flows presented in a 2017 EU Reminder Project report. Here, the EU28 are the pre-Brexit European Union member states. Third countries then would be any other country in the world. Look here at how there are slight differences between the first two pie charts, but then the third one primarily measures just two variables since it's impossible for your country of previous residence to be your migration destination. For the most part, these three options mean the same thing across different countries. That's not the case for the fourth option, migrant background. Depending on which country is collecting the data, having an immigrant parent may classify children born and raised in a destination country also as migrants. This is the case in the Netherlands. Children born and raised in the country would count as immigrants if one or both of the parents immigrated to the Netherlands. These classifications are up to each country, which makes it hard to compare numbers that different countries collect. So that's four options for collecting migration data. We can see now how statistics about stocks and flows can look rather different depending on how migrants are defined and classified. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I hope to see you next time.